I'm Sarah Hashimaris in the Los Angeles Times Newsroom. As deadline for change expired Wednesday, Egypt's first Islamist leader, President Mohamed Morsi, defied the army's 48-hour ultimatum through an angry speech in which he insisted he was the legitimate leader of the country. In a televised address, Morsi, Egypt's first freely elected president, said he would gladly defend the constitution with his life. Morsi and his government were given a two-day ultimatum by the country's army to meet the people's demands, which otherwise promised to end the stalemate by imposing a roadmap for change. The scene in Cairo, where thousands of pro- and anti-Morsi supporters have flocked to Tahrir Square, represents the months of unrest and economic turmoil the nation has endured. Reports indicate that 23 people have died in overnight clashes at Cairo University, according to health officials, with hundreds more injured. If Morsi steps down after just one year in power, the Times reports such a scenario would be a major defeat for his Muslim Brotherhood party, while the military faces major risks with the coup and the planned formation of a transitional coalition government composed primarily of civilians. For more on this story and other trending headlines, be sure to visit LATimes.com and keep up with the latest updates on Twitter at LATimesWorld.